described, I suppose, as one of football's greatest hard luck stories. 40 years ago this week, after the greatest season in their history, QPR were top of the league after having played all their games, yet they still didn't win the title. With the help of former player and England captain Jerry Francis, Chris Legg looks back at an anxious 10 days. And there goes that final whistle. Rangers have got the win they wanted. April the 24th, 1976, QPR beat Leeds in their final game. The fans celebrate being top of the league, but they can't yet celebrate winning the title. Second place Liverpool are yet to play their last match. Jerry Francis was the team's captain. When we did finish the last game against Leeds, we were top. I think it was so, so difficult to know what to do at that time. Were you champions, weren't you champions? I, th I found that was very, very hard at the time. Because of Liverpool's European commitments, QPR had to wait 10 days for that game to take place. The QPR players were herded into the television studios to watch Liverpool's final match. I remember being very nervous going into the TV studios. Not only were you sitting there um, you know, on the edge of your seats all the time, you just thought, yeah, it's gonna, is it going to be your day? Liverpool came from behind late on to win and deny QPR the title by one point. Do you think QPR was similar to Leicester are right now? Every neutral wanted to see them do well. We were probably, you know, most, most people's second favourite team behind their main team, you know, at the time because we were playing some great football. Great football was certainly on show when Francis scored goal of the season, 1975-76. Chance here. Oh, superbly taken by Jerry Francis. These days, Francis manages his son's rock band, Lost Lady Luck. How do you feel as a dad when you watch your sons perform? Very nervous, I have to say, more nervous than watching games. Looking back, do you have a great deal of pride that you finished your season top or is there kind of regret that you didn't quite do it? A bit of everything really. I, I probably would go as far as to say that that's probably as true as you're going to get that we were the best team never to win the title. In 1976, for 10 days at least, it felt like QPR were champions. Chris Legg, BBC London News. OK, uh, time now for a check on the weather with Elizabeth Rizzini.